gonna tell me where you went All the messages I sent with no reply It's like that You're just gonna walk into my Hello my stars, welcome back to my channel, Goddess of Stars Tarot. It's your girl, Karen, and I am so excited to welcome my Aquarius back to my channel. If you are new, welcome, welcome, welcome. I do wanna let you know this is a general reading. This reading will not resonate with each and every one of you, so take what does and leave the rest. If this reading does not resonate, please check with your other placements, your sun, your moon, your rising, and your Venus. Also, the energies or the roles in my readings may be interchangeable, so apply yourself as you see fit. So don't forget if this reading does resonate, don't forget to click like, share, subscribe, and click the all option when you click the bell so you can be notified when I upload another video. All right, my Aquarius, this is a selected reading from the members of the channel. They voted and this is going to be what's coming in here towards you within the next six months. So we're going to get some insight as far as what's coming in towards you, how to handle the situation and any advice from your spirit guides. Okay, so let's see what's coming in towards the collective. All right, what's the energy here? Spirit calling on my ancestors and spirit guides and sun, moon, rising and Venus to the highest light for the purest good. What's the energy surrounding my Aquarius? What's the energy here? Show me what's going to transpire within the next six months. Thank you. We already got a card flowing here. Beautiful. We start off with the Ace of Cups. Beautiful. Next energy. So in the month of July, it is surrounding love for someone. And in the month of August, I'm seeing an energy where you could be feeling a little bit defeated. But this energy is also letting me know that you are being spiritually guided as well. Okay. I do feel like you are in your spiritual strength. You are going to persevere and come out of the situation. So I see you taking a break from something. Yep. And then look in the month of September, I see you emotionally withdrawing drawing yourself from something that you care about let's clarify what other energies is coming through here spirit show me october what's going on with my aquarius in october what's the energy here surrounding my aquarius in the month of october what's the energy here in the month of um, August, I'm definitely seeing you put some putting boundaries around yourself, feeling defeated. Okay, could have it could be anything. That's why we're going to clarify. Let's see what's the energy here for October spirit. Thank you. All right, so we have recognition and reward. Okay, so in the month of October, I'm definitely seeing something going in your favor here. It could be work related. It could also mean partnering with someone that you care about. We have in the month of November, we have the Five of Cups. That's an energy that speaks of regret, okay? It could be an energy of feeling unloved or unappreciated by someone, okay? Being caught up in your feelings. Let's see, what's the last energy to close out the year? We have the Hangman, okay, coming through here. So in December, someone's going to make some type of sacrifice is what I'm seeing, okay, in this reading. The overall energy is the Three of Wands, okay? This speaks about partnerships, alliances, coming together with someone here so this is the overall energy for the rest of the year okay it's all about making um the right decisions partnering with the right people connecting with healthy relationship making good connections is the overall energy of the reading okay so let's see let's see what this is all about let's use this deck to get our reading going all right so i'm definitely seeing in december you're going to be making some sacrifices you're going to be contemplating a lot in December. Should you let something go? Should you move forward with something? That's the energy that I'm seeing here for you in December. So let's see what this is all about. Show me the energies. Why is the love begins card here? Why is the ace of cups showing up here for the month of July? What's the energy surrounding the ace of cups? Give me three cards. What's the energy surrounding my Aquarius in July? Three cards. Thank you. We have the two of cups. We have the seven of pentacles and we got the fool card. Okay, so there's a relationship coming in here towards you in the month of July. I'm definitely feeling like you're going to be connecting with someone. You're going to be taking a leap of faith is what I'm seeing. The seven of pentacles is letting me know that you are contemplating whether you should invest in this connection or not. But I definitely see you investing in this connection. I see you taking a leap of faith with this person. It could be a water sign. It could be an air sign or it could be an earth sign that's coming in here towards you. But I see you connecting 
connecting and partnering with someone in the month of July, okay? So we're going to clarify more, but this is the energy um, for July. Let's see what's going on with you in the month of August, my Aquarius. What's the energy here in, in August, Spirit? Why is spiritual strength here? This is the Nine of Wands energy, okay? So this energy, like I said, it speaks of putting boundaries around yourself. It speaks of persistence, okay? This could even mean test of courage here, needing to do something here in the month of August. This energy could even mean, you know, you're just tired. You're feeling defeated. You could even be feeling overwhelmed. So let's see what this is all about. Why is all, why is um, the Nine of Wands here for the month of August? Why is the Nine of Wands? All right, so I have something sliding out here. Six of Cups. Could be someone from your past. <clears throat> Someone from your past that you are reconsidering. You could be feeling defeated or um, overwhelmed with this situation. It could even mean a friendship. Okay, it doesn't necessarily have to be up. Look at that Ace of Swords. This speaks of truths. Okay, clearing the air with some truths here. We have the Nine of Pentacles as well. So someone that it could be a water sign very strongly look at that the bottom of the deck the king of cups could be a water sign pisces cancer scorpio that you are going to come into your space here in the month of um august i'm seeing an energy here where someone from your past returns back to you it could be a friend it could be a lover it could be a family member take it as it resonates for you but this energy <clears throat> is letting me know that there's something happening here okay this ace of swords means something needs to clear the air here uh, with someone from your past so i I see you clearing the air with someone you could have been avoiding this person or this person could have been avoiding you okay but someone is going to come in here and clear the air and this is going to help you out a lot my Aquarius with the nine of pentacles this is not only representing singles energy but it represents you know growth it represents um self-care self-worth self-respect so I'm seeing you coming out of this situation feeling more confident about yourself okay at least knowing where you stand in a particular situation so yes I see you clearing the air with someone here in August from your past. Okay, very strong energy of a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio here is what I'm seeing, okay? Let's clarify the uh, month of September. Why is the Eight of Cups here in the month of September? What's the energy here for the month of September for my Aquarius? What's the energy here for the month of September for my Aquarius? Why is the Eight of Cups here? What is it that my Aquarius is leaving behind, Spirit? What's the energy? All right, I'm getting some cards. I'm getting told to stop. Thank you, Spirit. All right, so we have the Temperance card. We have the Four of Swords. Okay, and then we got the Page of Cups. Okay, so I'm seeing you emotional about someone... Um, that you need balance in this situation with look at that the bottom of the the deck is the tower energy so this is someone that you care about or someone that is making some type of offer towards you maybe you contemplate with this person that you don't want to want to move forward with this connection okay because i'm seeing there's a lot of emotions here so there's a lot of contemplation here should you leave this person behind or should you move forward with this person okay i'm seeing a connection that needs balance all right, I'm seeing an, a connection that there's needing to be some type of resolve to conflict here is what I'm seeing, okay? But I'm definitely feeling like this is surrounding love with this Page of Cups. There's a lot of feelings here. There's a lot of emotions here. It could even be someone that you don't want to really... Or maybe this person doesn't. What I'm seeing your energy with the Four of Swords, which is letting me know this is something that you may not want to face at this time. Okay, maybe you decide to walk away from this situation. Maybe emotions are running high. There's a lot of feelings here is what I'm seeing here. Maybe it's something that you're not ready to make a full on decision about here in the month of September. But there's definitely something happening here okay it could mean arguments it could mean some type of chaos some type of unexpected news here comes to light with you between you and this person so therefore you took a break from it or you walk away from it momentarily okay is what i'm seeing let's clarify um the month of october what's going on for my aquarius in the month of october what's the energy here for my aquarius in the month of october why is the three of pentacles here why is the three of pentacles here spirit for the month of october for my Aquarius what's the energy here for my Aquarius all right so we got some cards that's wanting to jump we got the ten of wands we have the high priestess and we have the emperor okay so the energy that I'm getting I'm seeing you regaining control over your life but I see you taking on a lot and I'm saying this surrounding work matters for you in the month of um, October I feel like you're gonna be following your intuition more in October I feel like 
this is you taking control over your life. This is you um, juggling a lot. You could be even taking on a lot to mask your true feelings for this person that comes in here towards you between um, July and September, okay? Because I do see you taking a break from someone here in September. It could be this person that comes in here towards you in August. But the energy is letting me know your focus is on your finances, your work, regaining control over your, over your life. I definitely see for some of you here with this emperor energy, you're going to be following your intuition when it comes to this work matter. It's going to lead to some type of promotion um, here for you. I'm seeing you taking action towards a situation. You're going to be juggling a lot here work-wise, okay? Maybe taking on a lot of more, a lot more responsibilities in the work field. You could even mean a business, career, take it as it resonates for you. But because you followed your intuition, it is going to pay off for you here with the Emperor Energy and the Three of Wands. You will be rewarded. You will, will receive some type of promotion or or um, maybe you're going to receive some type of financing that you're wanting. Something is going to work here for you. You're going to be partnering with the right people. That's going to make something happen here for you. Let's clarify further. At the bottom of the deck, we have the justice card here as well. So even if it is something surrounding legal matters, it's going to go in your favor here. I can see it being a little bit stressful for you, okay? Feeling like it's a lot. But you're going to end up following your intuition and it's going to pay off for you is what I'm seeing. It's going to go in your favor if it is surrounding legal matters, okay? Okay. Let's see what's coming in here towards you in the month of November. Why is the five of cups here? Why is there a feeling of regret or a feeling of feeling unloved? What's the energy here? What's the energy here? Why is the five of cups here in the month of November spirit? What's the energy behind the five of cups? Thank you. All right. We have the eight of cups, a lot of emotions. You're walking away from something. Three of cups. Okay. You're walking away from partnering with someone. Okay. We have here the hermit card that's coming through here as well. So you're walking away from someone one is what I'm seeing. We have the queen of pentacles showing up here. I'm seeing you loving on yourself in the month of November. Okay. It could have a lot to do with, um, walking away from someone that you thought it was going to work out with. The hermit energy is letting me know this is about making another sacrifice, contemplating, soul searching, taking a break to build a better relationship with yourself, meditating. You could also be feeling alone an energy of feeling alone or feeling unloved or unabandoned by someone. Uh, I'm sorry, not unabandoned, feeling abandoned by someone here is what I am seeing. Okay. So someone could walk out on you in, in the month of November or your going to walk out on this person it could be the same water sign pisces cancer scorpio here you could be the mother of their child with the queen of pentacles take it as it resonates for you but i'm definitely see you walking away from someone all right that you were connecting with it could be due to third party take it as it resonates for you okay when that time surpasses okay but i'm definitely seeing an energy in november where you're feeling alone you're feeling unloved you're feeling un unappreciated by this person there's a lot of feelings here but you definitely walk away let's see why is the um sacrifice here the hermit and um the hangman energy here in the month of december okay yep look at this king of swords your energy Okay, feeling stubborn. Okay, get detaching yourself from situations. We also have the tower card showing up here. Let's get one more card. What's the energy here, spirit? We have the death card. Okay, so something completely ends here for you in the month of November. Okay, I'm seeing you um, making a very, very... Um, informed decision as far as what you want to do. It takes some time here because I'm seeing you happy. I'm seeing you in love. For some of you, you've waited for this love to come in your way is what I'm seeing in the month of July. Okay. But in the month of August, I'm definitely feeling like it has something to do with someone from your past that you are reconnecting with. Okay. And you're clearing the air. There's some truths that's coming out here between you and this person. Okay. And then I'm seeing you in the month of September. I'm seeing the same person who came in here towards you. I'm seeing you contemplating on taking a break break from this person. You're feeling like, you know, this connection needs balance. You're feeling like, you know, things is just not going the way that you want to want it to go with this person. It could be around um, surrounding, trying to resolve some type of conflict here is what I'm seeing. Now in the month of October, definitely a strong energy of you shifting your focus. Okay. I'm seeing you taking on a lot, but I'm seeing it paying off for you. I'm seeing you being rewarded here in the month of October. Now, um, November, very strong energy of being in your feelings. Okay. Being in your feelings about something or someone here is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing an energy where you feel alone. You feeling abandoned is it what I'm seeing here. But you completely end things in the month of December. You move forward. You realize this is what makes you happy. Okay. So this whole, this is what's clarifying the 
um, three of wands here, the nine of cups. So yes, there is some partnering here that's coming in here towards you um, for the next six months. This is about, you know, clarity being given to you in a particular situation here. I'm seeing your finances is going to be looking good in the month of October or something is going to be paying off here for you financially, okay? Let's get some advice. Let's see, let's get some advice and see what's going on here. Let's use this deck. What's the energy here, spirit? What's the energy? What's the energy here? Show me the energy for each month. Show me the energy for each month. What advice do you have for my Aquarius? What's the advice you have for my Aquarius in the month of July? What's the advice you have for my Aquarius in the month of July? What's the advice you have for my Aquarius in the month of July? Let's see. A time to give rather than take. Okay. Full moon, a new moon in Virgo. Okay. So this energy is letting me know someone is coming in towards you. Okay. Trying to balance the scales with you. Okay. If this is someone who's trying to give to you okay it's trying to make something equal happen here between the two of you okay equal give and take in this connection is what i'm seeing okay let's see what's happening here in august what's the energy here spirit in august what's the energy here in august all right so we have a jumper we have a time for healing okay so there's definitely an energy surrounding august okay someone's coming in to clear the air with you okay for some of you it's not the same person that you meet in july okay so you could probably be getting closure from someone from your past for some of you this is a new relationship completely here in the month of july but i see for some of you in august a past person comes back in here towards you okay to try and clear some type of air with you is what i'm seeing okay so this is going to bring healing to the situation all right let's see a lot of cards came out all right we have nothing is set in stone that flew out here okay for the month of september all right mutable moon nothing is set in stone so this energy is letting me know okay um i feel like there's a strong energy here of contemplation here okay in the month of september okay but i feel like you're taking a break from something it's almost like a you're, you, hey i just need a break i need some time to think i don't know where i stand in this connection i don't know you know what i should be doing here but i definitely need to step take a step back okay so i see you falling back from a situation in um september but it's not done yet it's not done yet this is why it says nothing is set in stone emotions are just running very high between you and this person okay let's see what's the energy here in october what's the energy here in october thank you all right so we have show the world the real you full moon in aquarius like i said in october you're going to be pulling out all the stops here in october i feel like you're going to be taking on a lot of responsibilities but you're going to show up and show out you're going to show your ass aquarius here in october but it's going to pay off for you okay you're going to remind people who the fuck you are pretty much in october and it's going to pay off for you is what i'm seeing here okay clarify the energy for november what's the energy here for november for my aquarius What's the energy here? We have nothing will come of this situation and boom, there it is. Okay. And that's the energy I got. You're, there's a lot of emotions here. I'm seeing you walking away from someone. You're feeling alone. You're feeling abandoned is the energy that I'm seeing. So a very strong energy here of some closure. Okay. You're closing out a cycle here between you and someone here in the month of November. Okay. Maybe finally realizing, okay, this person is not for me. Clarify the energy here in um, December. What's the energy or advice you have for my Aquarius for the month of December spirit? What's the energy here for my Aquarius in the month of December? What message do you have for my Aquarius? What message? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We have the answers you need are coming full moon in Gemini. So you gain the clarity that you need here. Okay. In the month of December, the answers that you were seeking in the month is seeking you receive. Okay. And this is helping you to make a form and form decision i'm seeing you becoming very cold very distant very detached from a situation but you're making this sacrifice in the betterment of yourself okay you're moving forward with your life from a situation you're closing out a cycle and you're starting anew let's see how you're going to start out the new year okay let's see which, how you're going to start out the new year what's coming in towards my aquarius in the month of january what's coming in towards my aquarius in the month of january after closing out this cycle, what's coming in towards my Aquarius starting off the year in 2022? Wow, that came out. We have two cards here. We have Prosperity Begins, the Ace of Pentacles.
Pentacles. So there's a new beginning coming in here towards you. You also have here um, Sacral Chakra. Okay, this energy speaks of emotions. Okay, being passionate about something. So I'm definitely seeing you being passionate about something in the month of um, January. I'm definitely seeing your focus um, shifting. It could be towards financing. I'm seeing you nurturing something here. Okay, but there's a lot of feelings and a lot of emotions here is what I'm seeing. There's a new beginning here happening for you to start the new year in 2022. Let's see. What's the energy here, spirit? What's the energy here for my Aquarius? Yep, look at that. Page of Wands. Passion. This is about finding your way, being passionate, going in a different direction is what I'm seeing. The page of wands speaks of good news, okay? Making decisions, okay? Finding your passion again, bright ideas coming in here towards you. Let's clarify further. What are the energies here in the month of um, January? We have the nine of wands, okay? So even though you're feeling defeated or you're feeling um, exhausted, I'm definitely, I'm definitely seeing you in an energy where you're setting boundaries around yourself, but you're still persevering. You're still pushing through and you're still trying to find your way let's get one more card here king of pentacles it's going to pay off for you is what i'm seeing okay look at this the bottom of the deck is the wheel of fortune so this is about cycles this is about closing out cycles this is about changes happening in your life taking risks is what i'm seeing here with you okay um destiny good luck fate this is what's happening for you in the month of july and look what the next card is right after that the queen of pentacles okay i'm seeing you really really bossed up for some of you okay it's a strong energy here of a new relationship coming in here towards you in the month of um january all right i'm definitely feeling like this is for january 2022 i'm seeing you finding a new passion again even though you may be feeling a little bit defeated your guard is going to be up and it's just because of everything that you've been through but i'm seeing for some of you you meet your soulmate in the month of january 2022 things start to change for you here in love all right i'm definitely seeing you partnering with your soulmate all right, my Aquarius, let's close out with um, one message from your spirit angels. Let's close out with one message from your spirit angels. What message? So this whole reading, as you can see, has been about partnering and alliances. So there's a lot of connecting with people here. What I'm seeing here for you um, over the next six to seven months. Okay. But I'm seeing here you falling in love with someone here in the month of January, okay? Someone that you're supposed to be with. This person's your match, your match in life. This person's going to be matching your energy. Let me show you guys. We have the Ace of Wands, and then you have the King of Pentacles, and then you got the Queen of Pentacles showing up in the reading. So, yes, yeah, someone is going to match your energy, okay? Let's see. Let's see. What advice you have for my Aquarius overall spirit? What advice do you have for my Aquarius overall what message of advice do you have for my Aquarius overall within the next six to seven months? What advice you have for my Aquarius? Thank you. We have truth. Okay. It says when everything is done as an offering, even the act of speaking, you get shown when to talk and when to be silent. Your words come from silence, not fear. You do the talking, dear Lord. Take me over and speak through me okay so this energy is about coming through coming to terms with some truths here okay learning that you know sometimes your silence is very loud okay so you learn a lot when you are silent okay and i feel like this is what this whole energy and this whole reading is about this energy is about you know speaking some truths learning some truths not only within yourself but also too with someone that is you're involved with here from your past and i feel like this is going to give you the clarity that you need it's going to put catapult you forward here is what I'm seeing okay I definitely feel like you know you're gonna learn some truths here my Aquarius but it's going to be for the betterment of yourself all right my Aquarius all right thank you guys love you guys to the moon and back till next time bye I guess you're back are you gonna tell me where you went all the messages I sent with no reply